my name is Anisha Alinda, a program officer with Conrad Adena Stifta in Uganda and South Sudan under the EU Space Project. During the violent elections of 2021, images of the EU delegations driving to the offices and homes of opposition leaders sent a strong message of solidarity with the marginalized people that you were with them. So it's important that the delegation is more visible directly in the lives of people as the delegation and not just through the civil society organizations alone. EU has in the recent past identified itself in the fight to protect the human rights and needs of Ugandans. This has been evidence in its united front during the elections. Aside from visits to leaders of opposition, there is need to actually provide a dialogue between the leaders. Public statements with limited consequences to state actors is not enough and can erode the credibility built through the work of sensitization that's currently being done. The failure by the state to account effectively and completely means that the public will continue to suffer and continue to depend on aid and support. COVID has taught us the need for sustained self-reliance. Therefore, the delegation should not only expose and reprimand, but through its network, sensitize the public on how to effectively demand for complete accountability. In absence of a strong economic alternative to the communities, children continue not studying because they have to choose survival over going to some fancy classroom blocks. The outbreak of COVID-19 also manifested the continued existence and disregard of the girl child, pointing to fundamental flaws in the approach of their protection. The EU should support the development of strong and responsive actions by government, communities and individuals if the girl child is to be properly protected along with stronger support for the education system.